episode of Real Talk, where we have real people with real situations, and it's always going to be real talk, you know what I mean. I'm Darren Morris. I'm Ja'Kai Gray. I'm Diamond Wally. And I am Marquis Good. Let's get right into it. So, in recent news, <clears throat> a CNN, in the CNN news report, um, Amber Rose um, came out on Facebook about um, body shaming. She said that one of the hosts on Dance with she's, she's a contestant right now on Dance with the Stars. And while she was dancing, one of the judges, which her name is Julianne Hook, stated that um, she was uncomfortable while Amber was dancing. So my question is to you guys, what do you how do you feel about body shaming and what does it mean to you? Before I want to get into it, is Julianne a stick? Yes, Julianne. Julianne Hook is a very skinny woman. That's why she made to you, uh, Dr. J. We just want to make sure that you're safe and uh, your family's safe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, 
Hey man, you got the call, man. Hey man, everybody give Dr. J a round of applause. Yeah. 
Because what do y'all think? eHarmony and BlackPeopleMeet.com. Right. Right. Farmers on the
Yeah, I think that if you use one, the word vibe, period, is just what we're all about, having good vibes, you know? And that's what you do when you listen to good music is you have a good vibe, you chill, you relax, you know what I'm saying? You vibe. It's crazy because when we found, when we discussed about, like, what we're going to do, we were vibing, I guess. And the name that I came up with, before we discussed what we were going to do, the name I came up with was Good Vibes Only. And then when he came to me talking about vibes, it was just like, yeah, we got to do vibe. We're on the same thing. We weren't even together, you know? In five years, what do you see vibe going? Uh, you got it. Uh, five years, <laughs> um, I see vibe as a household name. Uh, I mean, I'm going to be long gone from here, but we going to keep it going. We got we got our producers from Houston. We from Memphis. They from Jackson. We got people from all over. We got different connections. There's no reason why vibe should just be at all point. Hopefully, we it is going to continue to stay at all point after we leave, but it's going to continue to strive and we're going to continue to make music. We're trying to touch the world. It'll be good if it could be at all HBCU. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 That would be really nice. Right. 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 Let's do an HBCU tour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll never put a cap on that. That's another idea that we have is, you know, basically, if we're being heard here on the campus, other HBCUs are going to want us to come out and, you know, do showcases and, you know, let, us, let them hear our artists. So, that's just something that, you know, we're just looking forward to, period. <coughs> Do you plan on expanding vibe and, and so how? Um, what they call it, answer that one, what they are, you know what I'm saying? I can do, well, another part, we were thinking about um, starting a mentor program. Um, I know we could do it at the local high schools. Um, we could go and uh, have, I guess, different lunches with the young men specifically. Um, in the high schools and try to, I guess, show them the way a man should care of themselves and uh, just be a role model in their lives. Mm-hmm. We're also uh, thinking about uh, doing the clothing line because I believe that uh, just the, the meaning behind it, voice your black expression, is, you know, something that everybody can agree with. You know, you want to voice yourself. You, you know, you're black and you want to express that. You know, so I got something to say and everybody can, you know, agree with that. So think about doing the clothing line as well. I can commend you. I want to commend you guys on getting this started. That's this is something that, that is definitely well needed, especially the mentoring uh, part of it. Uh, not a lot of artists like you guys or, or anyone are really giving that that mentoring aspect to other young men, trying to help them groom them to be better men, and not just talking about the money, drugs, all this kind of stuff, but helping other young men to become better young men. I, I like that. I want to commend you. I've also forgot to mention that we're actually starting uh, the, the Vibe Band as well. Yeah. Uh, so that, you know, we can do different shows on campus and off campus, doing, you know, cover songs or our own music. Uh, Daryl is actually head front of the band. You can discuss it more if you like. Yeah, man. If, well, basically, I'm just going to put it like this. If anybody's out there on all Alcorn State campus who plays any type of instrument and they want to be able to put their put themselves in front of people and show their talent. Come to Vibe Music, you know. If you want to just call me, you know, follow me at Daryl Boy Second uh, on Instagram, Twitter. You know, just hit me up and we can try to get you in there. Uh, yeah, and also uh, we do have a social media outlets for Vibe. Uh, the Twitter, the Instagram, and the uh, SoundCloud is all Vibe Music PRD. Uh, so you can find us on there. And we also have a Facebook under the same name. So. Great. That's that great. I, like I said, that's, that's all of that. It just sounds like it should be something that's definitely out there, out there, out there. I commend, I commend, I commend you yeah. guys really for starting real talk. Like I, I really yeah. think that this is a good we thing. To continue working. We love working with y'all. You know, we, we thank y'all for actually having us on the show. Period, and appreciating us for you know what we're doing. Yeah. You know, and we appreciate you guys as well. Yeah. Now, I wanted to go back to the name. Okay. The name of Bob. The voice your black expression. Can you explain that? Oh, it's, it's, you know it's kind of uh, self-explanatory. Basically, you know, one, we're talking about music here. Right. And the core members of the group of our production team is African-American. But we're not saying that we're not open for other nationalities, other races, because everybody has, you know, expressions. Everybody has music. Everybody has something they want to get out, poetry, anything, you know. So it's really just... It's self-explanatory, voicing your black expression. You know, you want to get what you got to say out. Then, during the times now where, you know, 
our brothers are being killed every day. You know, so you gotta have an outlet, yeah, yeah. Or some kind of way to basically express yourself in music. Right. In my opinion, is the best way. Best way. Best way. Best way. I just love the, the vibe that we are getting <laughs> here on stage. So we're going to go to commercial, but we want to thank you guys again for coming to the show. Thank you. Thank you. My lane? No, not at all. Are you not paying attention? Are you texting? I was just checking in with my mom. I was telling her that I thought we'd be home by six. It's okay. There's enough time. Just pay attention. I'm not even halfway through my text. There's no way. I'm not even going to look up. My babies are in the car. You have to pay attention. It's just supposed to be a quick text. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 